Welcome! <clears throat> so, uh, last time we mentioned that uh, I was going to be recording on the Ragnarok map, and here we are. So, some of you, some of you who may have uh, played this map before, you'll recognize uh, the castle ruins in the background there. And if, uh, if you've been following, uh, you'll notice that uh, I kind of have a thing for castles. So that's where I set up my base. Um, so let's wander over that way. So, um, so I had to do a little bit of work. Okay, a lot of work. Uh, to the castle, or actually to the bridge, just to get there. So this bridge is the only way uh, uh, over there. Um, well, kind of. But uh, in order to um, get there, I had to uh, <laughs> bridge the gaps, as it were. Uh, so the uh, drawbridges and uh, this little platform to cover one gap there. Okay, a little bit of problem with the horses uh, getting through there. Let me uh, over just a little bit. So, with the uh, Castle Keeps and Forts mod, uh, I think I showed you guys. So there's the switch. And we'll go ahead and close that. So that effectively cuts off. Uh, I mean, you know, it's traditional castle with your moat, the drawbridge. Uh, with the drawbridge up, of course, there's no way to get across um, unless you're flying. And what I did for the next set, let me just you know, jump up the back of the horse here, um, is I, I positioned two drawbridges facing each other, and that spanned that little gap. So, and then I, you know, the switches are, I put over here. Um, again, this is a, a solo map, so you know, not really anybody's going to be attacking. However, I do have, you know, I'm still running the NPC uh, Bush People mod, so I do, I do have, uh, you know, NPCs through here. In fact, here are two now that I've uh, tamed. So we have a an archer, a lady archer, who's actually ready to be take a level up. Um, what do we think? I well, can never go wrong with a little extra health. And then we have a, a foot soldier. here, because I'm actually playing the game, uh, let me check my inventory, my oh, yeah, alright, they're good, uh, so, um, they do eat cooked meat, uh, in fact, they are tameable, and they tame just like, um, you know, not the horses, but like your, most of your dinos, where you got to trank them, knock them out, put cooked meat on them, and I, that's that's how you tame them. Um, so, let's see, I piped some water up, you can see the pipe there, uh, to my 
cantina, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. Um, so I have an elevator room, um, very reminiscent of the one I have on, on the center. Uh, it goes down to the swamp. I've got a little a building there that I can do some fishing if I want. Um, Because that's probably the best way to get uh, uh, blueprints is by doing fishing and getting the rewards from the fish. Okay. So then I come up here, and this is the entrance to the castle. Uh, the uh, war flag off to your left, the left side of the screen, uh, that is that is my my banner, my device, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let me hop off the horse. So I have one, two mounted, or not mounted, but, well, I do have two mounted knights uh, there, and then two soldiers. And then over here is the guard shack, uh, and the captain of the guard right there. I didn't get out of that, really. Okay. So you come in and you got a whole bunch of NPCs right there that will skewer you, shish kebab you, so on and so forth, uh, if you're a bad guy. And you'll recognize the uh, anchor from from the center I just moved it over here and one of the cool things that I noticed about uh, this map is they have water veins so you just like uh, springs or whatever you can actually drink out of uh, it doesn't work to uh, pipe water so uh, that's why I had to run the pipe from the swamp up here, uh, and then you'll recognize the uh, beer barrel, and so this is uh, my newest tavern, a little tap water as you walk in. Uh, we have, oh look, we have a bar winch, yay, uh, so probably, unfortunately I didn't, there wasn't enough room, I, I made this uh, tavern, but there wasn't enough room in this little courtyard to make a big one. Um, I'll have to do that in a different location, and I more than likely will, just haven't got there yet. Uh, so we have, you know, some, uh, some decorations, uh, some banners, Uh, this is actually the first time I've used the Chinese lanterns. Uh, they're kind of cool, actually. So, I had some there, and then I had two strings out here. Oh, excuse me. So, so that's fun. Let me down here. I'm taking my horse back up to put it away. In case you're wondering how come I'm still riding the horse when I'm in the castle. I'm just putting it up. And then this is uh, the hatchery slash I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is where I keep keep this horse. Uh, I can hatch uh, dino eggs and, and the whatnots here. Um, I've also, just because I wasn't sure if it made a difference, uh, I've got a little hatchery here. So I can actually have two going, or, well, really I could have more than two going if I wanted. Um, I don't recommend that just because the uh, drain on your food supply 
uh, once they hatch. But um, so I've got a, another human egg hatching. I say another. Um, that guy over here, Charles the first, he's the first person that I uh, hatched, and I want to point something out real quick. Um, all right, so that is a male body. However, he it shows that he's female. And in fact, I mean he's pooping out eggs. Um, that is a a bug that hopefully they're working on. Uh, it has been. I mean, it's a known bug. Uh, so I don't know if that's something that they can fix or or what. But uh, it, it's funny nonetheless. Um, I guess while I'm standing here, I might as well give him a level. Uh, now, he is one of the, the or she, or he, she, or whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't like politics in my games. Um, So, he is one of the uh, eggs that I got from the uh, the mod helper. In fact, so is this the other one. Um, so I don't know if that has anything to do with the uh, egg health, because it's from the mod helper and not... Uh, I haven't had two different... Uh, I haven't successfully mated to uh, the NPCs yet. Uh, I think that's going to be my next uh, once I hatch this egg I may try and set up a <laughs> set up a room for them. Uh, probably a small room so they can't get a, go around too much. But um, and see if that makes a difference. Uh, if it comes from that, if the egg health is higher and if the resulting uh, baby once hatched is higher level because he hatched at level one which is you know kind of pointless really but that's why I hatched the second I'm trying to hatch a second one is to see if you know if that makes a difference um, you know if it was just if it's a random thing with those, or you know, if there's a pattern. Um, so this is my workshop area, and let's see. Over here is my smithy table for the vanilla, also a fabricator. Uh, the uh, crafting table for my dragon mod uh, and then these over here are all from the uh, castles keep mod and then this one of course is the, uh, the new uh, uh, NPC smithy table um, up here I have my kitchen area cooking over here. Alright, I can put the fire out. Now this cooker uh, has 200 sp uh, spaces. Um, so you can cook a lot, of, a lot of food, but it also acts as a storage unit for the meat once you've cooked it. So that's a big reason why I put that in there and then if I've got a lot of meat so I mean more than the 200 spots then I've got three uh, fireplaces that I uh, can cook meat but they don't uh, they only hold uh, 24 slots at a time so that's uh, that was the other reason I put the, co the uh, cooker in was to uh, cook up a lot of meat because 
especially with the NPCs, that's, I mean, that's their food source. So, alright, so there's that. Um, alright, next we go upstairs. Oh, come on, let me go. And, so I'm just giving you guys a, a somewhat quick tour. Uh, got a couple more uh, archers out here um, I can use this as like a landing pad for uh, I've got an RG down there or if I have you know a, a Tranodon or you know any other flyers um, if I have inst instead of that dragon down there if I had like a Drake which is a little bit smaller um, I could land him up here and you you may be asking yourself well, why would you land there because I've got him you know out at the front gate well because that's just off my bedroom let's see and so this is the uh, RP mod or that the NPC mod mod helper um, her armor is not quite big enough <laughs> so. Uh, and then my my two knight uh, advisors. Uh, so this is kind of a war council room. Well, I have to decorate that. Uh, here's the feeding trough for them. I've got some water over here. I can take a drink in the morning. Uh, and then a uh, back exit to the room. Uh, this has basically just a balcony that goes all the way around. Comes all the way around and connects back to here. Uh, so uh, there's that. And then one more level up takes us to the library. I know, me and my libraries. And I realize this is that was close. Two two floors uh, above the workshop area, but I didn't have room down there. You know, I wanted so uh, that and this gives me a chance to actually set it up like an actual library. I'm gonna put uh, some more rows uh, of bookshelves in here and just really uh, make a a huge library. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. I don't expect to actually uh, fill every single bookshelf, um, but it, I mean that's not the point. This is this is for RP. So you know, um, I'm I'm trying to build some RP areas uh, along with uh, you know functional stuff. So. And then there's one more level, would be the roof. And so let's run up there real quick. Well, actually, the only thing I have up there is uh, the archery target for uh, that archery game. Uh, I still, th and some of the boards that are uh, the chat discussion boards, um, they're still talking about how. Uh, the game for the that is is not working right. Um, I thought it was because I was on a solo m map, but somebody posted that they you know was running a server and uh, it it didn't work right for them either. So they had multiple people, and so um, I will stay on top of that because. I, I mean, I, it, it's kind of cool—a little mini game—and I, I hope that they get it fixed because I'd love to love to give it a shot. <laughs> Mostly because, well, I want to be the champion. <laughs> so, all right, let's head back down. And um, so the other day, my son had asked me, you know, because I was like, uh, the last uh, video I, I did in two parts. Um, 
because it, the first one was right at 15 minutes and I hadn't uh, enabled the uh, my YouTube account to post longer videos and I didn't even know that was a thing and my son's like um, yeah did you did you do that so I have now done that so my videos can be longer and I don't have to worry about it um, so I guess with this video I'm not gonna worry about the length I mean it'll be as long or as short as it needs to be um, but if you want to have, if you want me to do longer videos, uh, leave a post. You know, let me know. Um, give me some feedback. You know, what do you guys, you know, what do you guys want to see? There's lots of caves, lots of places to explore. Um, in fact, uh, I may do a, a flyover of the uh, the whole the whole thing because um, I. I really, really want to show you guys this map. It's really, uh, I, and I can't stress this enough, it's just a gorgeous map. So, you know, it may look small, but holy crap, guys. It, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm, I think right in this area is where I'm sitting at. Um... <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, but that uh, he took a giant dump right in my ear. That was funny. Okay. Oh, no, I'm right over here. Okay, so I'm right here. Um, I did spawn in a, a couple of bases uh, right next to me because I wanted to do some raiding and, and whatnot. Um, so all the NPCs are right in this area uh, currently. I'm, hopefully they'll expand out, but who knows. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of, there's, you know, different biomes, the, uh, topography of the map is just, you know, it's just beautiful, just a, a, a wide range of, uh, places, there's an underwater temple, I have explored that, um, I, one, one of the videos will be, I'll explore that one again, um, you know, certain caves we'll go through, and hopefully we'll have a lot of adventures together. And like I said, um, in a couple of months, I'm going to uh, try and host my own server so that others can join me. And it'll be, um, the map will be on Ragnarok, because I, I love this map, if you couldn't tell. I mean, if, you know, maybe you didn't have a clue, I don't know. Uh, some people don't pick up on what I'm laying down uh, sometimes, <laughs> but I really, every, I want to say something. Every time there's an update to the NPC mod, it reloads this the mod helper. You know, so I end up with a crap ton of eggs. Of I mean, there's another hundred fertilized eggs, uh, consumable eggs. Uh, I mean, I haven't even, it's, it's ridiculous. So, obviously she doesn't move anywhere, but see, I've emptied her out a few times and put, put everything over here in this, this crate, and, I mean, look, <laughs> I've got a, a hundred million Okay, not that much, but I mean, you know what I'm getting at. There's, it's, it, it's kind of a cheat on top of a cheat, maybe, sort of. I don't know, um, but it's not one that I'm doing. So, just so you know, not this time. Um, so, yeah, that is. I mean, that's. Oh, there's one other place. Okay, maybe I can see it from from here without having to actually go over there. I wanted a place to put uh, animals in, you know, like a barn or something like that. So, uh, all right, it's not going to render from this distance. But basically, 
take the bridge all the way across and then up that little rise there in the center and I, I built a, a barn-ish looking structure. Actually, it looks like a small keep. Uh, but I built a, a barn there and I've got some animals in there. Um, and then I've got a couple of Allosauruses roaming around and a Carnotaurus roaming around uh, providing security for the barn because nobody's going to mess with them. Um, or, well, not on this map anyway. <laughs> so, and I mean, you know, I was talking about caves. If you look just to the right of the, uh, the bridge at the bottom of the cliff, I mean, you can see a cave right there. Um, so we'll be exploring that one uh, in an upcoming uh, episode. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So, so <laughs> in the, the vanilla, I just lost a Titan boa. He was running around the swamps. That kind of sucks. Um, you can tame Titan boas now, uh, which that was the first one that I had, had ever tamed. And oh, I bet he caught the Baryonyx in the water. That's a bad spot to be when you're facing a Baryonyx because in water, whoops, I'm whistling at people. Um, in the water, they uh, they can stun you. So a stunned animal in the water is a dead animal in the water because he just killed my Titan. Rest in peace, Toby. You filthy snake, you. So. I think I need to get some uniform uniforms for these guys. I can do that later. So, uh, well, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, do you remember when I was talking about... And this will be the last thing. Uh, when I was talking about the, uh, the pyre that you can put uh, captives and whatnot in and burn them alive well this is what it looks like so um, I'm not sure how you put them in eh. or I don't know maybe you just drag them up there and drop them down uh, I know you have to put the uh, shackles on them so they can't move go anywhere so I guess you just draw them up there you know drag the body up there and uh, once there's a body on it you can light the, the pyre or something I don't I don't know I haven't figured I haven't got it to work so but this is uh, of course this is above the uh, kitchen uh, which I thought was an appropriate spot to have uh, you know, wood fire <laughs> pile, pile of sticks. Um, so yeah, there is that. This is uh, my new castle. Uh, I had to clean it out because there was a lot of um, bats and spiders in here. <coughs> so I took uh, uh, some bug spray, some uh, uh, rolled up newspapers for the spiders and and uh, fly water for the bats and uh, cleared it out and now it's mine uh, so yeah there you are uh, I guess we will uh, see you guys next time uh, if you like what you saw and want to see more go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and um, leave a leave a leave a message down in the comments let me know what you want to you know what you'd like to see uh, if there is a mod out there that you would like to see me um, uh, test out uh, you know see how it'll fit in with everything uh, let me know I'm, I'm looking for some more mods uh, I haven't fully explored the ones I've got but uh, I, I really like the the echoes RP mods uh, the pub and and the RP and the uh, uh, garden decorations. Uh, that's where I got the lights and, and and the wall decorations and whatnot. I like that. Um, 
and of course the castles. I like the the dragon mods because I like me some dragons. And I mean, really, you can't have a castle without a dragon. I mean, you know, they kind of go hand in hand. Um, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, leave a like, uh, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.